Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's cold, it's crappy, winter's coming, there's no leaves on the trees, and it's raining, but there's a silver lining. I got a package. And I think, I got a few packages coming, but I think this is uh, some motors, and it's gonna go on a four inch quad. So uh, let's get out of this cold. Let's crack into this package and see what we got. All right, let's get inside. All right, guys, we are warm. We're back inside. Pretty sure these are motors. Let's take a look, see what we got. So these are, I ordered some 1804s and we got some stickers. Yep, we got the cool. MEPS stickers, space themed, very cool. And here's the star of the show. We have SZ-1804 3500 KV motors. That's exactly what I ordered. Beautiful. Let's open one up, take a look. Box is really nice. Nice. Wow, really nice looking motor. And we have a little card from MAPS showing that it's been it's passed through quality control, product standards and technical requirements. They give you a washer, a spare C-clip, and two different size sets of of screws. Mount your motors. Let's open it up. Sealed nicely, keep any moisture out. And there we go. So these are 1804s, 3500 KV. Beautiful looking motors. The quality looks really good. The magnets feel pretty, pretty strong. It has this, uh, this epoxy or silicone or something just to keep keep the uh, the end of the winding where the wires go into the winding coil winding to keep it from moving around some motors don't have that and just a little bit of wiggling or if you cut if you're in a crash or something and your motor uh, the arm breaks and then the motors flopping around just on the wire it could end up um, breaking the the coil winding where it attaches to the wire so this is secured firmly so you know that's not gonna that's not going anywhere even if you rip these wires off you could probably even solder on because you got a lot of you got a lot of protection here um, so that's really really nice it's a nice touch so anyways it's gonna go on an apex four inch frame I have this frame built up and uh, this is actually the quad right here similar exact quad um, I'm running 1505 motors 3750 kV these motors they're LAN RC they make 200 watts of power they I think they're a, maybe a little small but uh, even with all the weight, it's got lots of power. I freestyle this, no problem. So, there's the exact same frame, and th these are gonna go on here. Looks a little bit more at home with a, a slightly larger motor. Those fit perfectly. So, um, let's put this together. Let's get these motors on here, soldered up and take it for a test flight. All right, guys, let's go. All right, guys, here she is in all her glory. Look at that beautiful, beautiful MEPS motor on there. Beautiful. Look at that. Fresh build, analog, TBS Unify Pro 32, Caddx Rattel, 
I was gonna go um, digital, but uh, I found this uh, VTX, so I figured I'd give it a go. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go for a boot. For 3500 kV motors, beautiful on an apex four inch frame. Awesome, awesome. Um, lots of power, man. 850 ma on a four inch apex. I love this thing and I love these motors. All right, guys, thanks for watching. It's only three degrees out here today. I'm nuts. All the leaves are gone. And uh, yeah, look at that. Winter's coming fast. Late November, it's only like two degrees out. My, my hands, my poor hands are freezing. But I'm flying, so I'm happy. All right, guys, grab some maps and we'll see you on the next episode of Derelict FPV. Thanks for watching, take care.